DFW Airport is moving forward with plans for that new Terminal F. That's pretty exciting news for flyers, but maybe even more exciting news for scientists. Why were we playing John Williams Jurassic Park music and talking about the airport? Chris Sadegi explains in today's Daybreak Rewind. When we're at DFW International, we're so focused on the skies above that we miss the story below. The bones were found by workmen digging a drainage ditch during construction of the airport. When the airport was being built in 1974, WFAA was there to cover the discovery of bones from a time before humans. Scientists say the 30-foot pliosaur probably weighed around 6,000 pounds, eight fish 14 feet long and lived in the water. That's right, the land where DFW sits now was under the deep blue sea. He says it will help pinpoint the prehistoric shoreline of a sea that cut the United States into two parts 70 million years ago. The display remained at DFW up until a little more than 10 years ago. So then where did this valuable key to finding a prehistoric shoreline go? We rediscovered it. And we brought it back so that it could be studied and completely restored. The dismantled fossils now sit deep in the storage facility of SMU's Schuler Museum of Paleontology along with many other discoveries from the same place. This is the, the arm bone of an armored dinosaur uh, that comes from the south end of DFW Airport. Museum Director Dale Winkler says discoveries near the airport are still made today, mostly from amateur researchers. There's a very rich history of fossils from the airport. And with construction of a new terminal planned at DFW in the coming years, who knows what creature is waiting for them this time. There are, are, are definitely hopes. We have a, a ex-student who works at the airport. All of that are pieces of the puzzle. So the next time you are wheels up, pause to think about what lies beneath. At DFW Airport, I'm Chris Sadegi. And I'm not terribly surprised because West Texas, which is known as the Permian Basin, right. during the Permian era was ocean was underwater. Well, and you know, if, if DFW and the airport, that land isn't fertile enough, uh -huh. you can go down to Glen Rose and check out right. all the dinosaur <laughs> tracks there. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff. There right is. There. Pretty cool, though. Uh, primary